fast. So I'm going to lure him down. And what I do is I hip him, get him on his hips by taking the food tree and luring over here. And as you know, Dexter's really used to being handled and touched. Now he's normally a bit calmer, but he knows when I'm talking on camera, I think that I'm a little distracted. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> look at him, lure him over. I'm gonna try to let him settle down a little bit. Um, again, I don't know what the volume's gonna be like. These are the clippers that I use. I don't use the guard when I do his feet. I just, I'm, I'm careful not to get in too deep. He's gonna start snorting. Um, and I take things slow. He's again accustomed to this, so we, you know, taught him as a puppy and kind of built his tolerance. So we're gonna bring him back over here. And what I do is, see, we got these fuzzy feet. Is I come in. Let's see if I can see. I'm gonna come in through here, and I just kind of scoop it out a little bit. Not not a lot. Just scoop it out a little bit. Try to get all these fuzzies. I do kind of trim this up. What I'm trying to do is expose his nails so the Dremel will be easier tomorrow and I won't have as much fur to contend to. Okay. Oh, thank you, Teresa. He is a pretty sweet baby. All right, so you might want to be ready with your volume. You might need to turn it down. Again, I don't know how loud it's going to be. All right. So I take it and go down his foot. And I kind of um, rest it with his pad here. That's kind of like my start, and I just kind of go in and get as whatever I can. And I even go down his his ankle, I guess, back here. Remember, I do keep Dexter relatively short, kind of a semi puppy cut. You know, with all his rehab and everything. Stepping on Grinch feet just isn't really good for him because it can trip him up. Good boy. And then he's like, all right, where's the payday? And then we give him a little reward. And I do kind of come into the sides here too. Again, I do a pretty clean foot. Not a beautiful foot, just a clean foot. Good boy. And for the most part, I'm just touching the hair, and it kind of butts up to the pad here. <laughs> and even if you keep your um, Cavalier with his Grinch feet, you do want to make sure that you're getting the bottoms of his pads. He should They should have clean pads on the bottom so that they're not slipping. So, sh so the hair should be removed from that bottom. And then I do come up here and you can go through their toes and kind of lift up their hair. You see how we're kind of lifting up that fur. Again, not much for Dexter because I do keep that pretty trimmed. And then I just kind of, whoops, I almost dropped it. Just kind of, I just come up here. And again, I'm not a groomer. There are really some nice grooming videos online if you really want to get into perfection. Um... With young dogs, you want to get them used to the clippers first, if that's what you're trying to do. I can add a link about that. And I'm just kind of scoop that inside a little bit. Good boy. And it's just amazing at how much hair <laughs> these guys get. I know, did I pull the hair? So see, there's a little straggler right there. I just want to kind of get in there. He's a good boy. And that's not too bad. Okay, let's see if you can see. And you don't want to, you know, hit the skin. You want to, you know, I like touch it a bit, but you don't want to hit it a lot. You don't want to hurt them. Let's see if we can see. Can we see? <laughs> His foot doesn't turn that way. And see how it's pretty clean in there? Not bad, all that fuzz is gone. There we go. Okay, good boy. Give him another snack here. What a good boy. And I won't today, but I do kind of trim that up. Usually it's when he's in a stand too. But I'm just 
wanting to get these bottoms of the feet for the nail trim tomorrow. So again, fuzzy feet on the bottom. I go down this way. Good boy. Um, I do have Dexter on the down and on his side because I don't think he can balance very well free-footed. I think it's more relaxing this way. If it's new, then I would definitely have backup and have that person giving your dog a treat. So like tomorrow when we do the nails, Grandma's going to be our backup um, to give him treats because that's new and I'm not as comfortable with the nails because, again, I usually take them into my stepsister's salon to get them done. Um, just because I'm spoiled because Dexter is fine with people where my last dog was afraid so I did his nails but I got spoiled with Dexter so again I'm just kind of coming up and looking for those little fuzzies and I'm just kind of zipping them off just to lo uh, lighten that foot a little bit for him and just so he doesn't step on it when he's doing all those exercises, if his feet are fuzzy, he's going to be stepping on them and then tripping them up. So, there we go. I can just, again, I just can manipulate Dexter really easily and, and softly. He doesn't fight, so it's not like I'm manhandling him in a bad way. He's just really used to it. And tomorrow, from the tips from my stepsister, what she recommends is actually going to the back feet first. She says most dogs don't even really notice the back feet as much as the front feet. Um, because Dexter's not concerned about either, I just have always, for whatever reason, started with the front feet. And again, you can do it in stages, too. So if my golden retriever, when I used to, he had fuzzy feet, too, not like Dexter. But I would usually just do one foot at a time, lots of treats, and then the next day or a little bit later, go do the other foot. Yeah, it's a good boy. Again, I'm just going to trim this up a little bit. And usually I'll stand him up to even everything out, so. And again, feel free to have any comments or questions. Um, I, I Now that this it's spun around, I can kind of see a little bit. He's like, oh, okay. So I can catch those comments. If not, I will come back with them. Oh, boy, you stay there. <laughs> so you might even be able to see that. You see all that fuzz there? I don't know. Can you see it? I just kind of take it off a little bit. And it's, you know, when you look at all this hair, I just did them not that long ago. <laughs> When I did his nails trim the other, a couple weeks ago, I said last week, but it's actually two weeks. So he is a little more tickling on his back foot. So Amy, I missed the very beginning. Um, did you mention the type of clippers? This is the one, the wall that I have for Dexter. Um, adjustable, it's pretty substantial and heavy. They make smaller ones um, if you have a smaller Cavalier. I've I've purchased before the man's mustache ones because I thought I could just kind of use those and maybe do the face, but I don't know. Something about it just didn't, didn't feel as comfortable for me. Maybe it's because Dexter's big, but these are the ones I've been using. Dexter's 10, and I bought them for Dexter. And they've been really good. I actually do have guards, and I do use the guards when I do his legs and stuff, or his his butt, because I do. Again, I kind of do a little bit of a puppy trim ish with him, um, and the guards help. The, the my fa I do have to get a new guard because the favorite one that I liked for certain spots, I lost it. So I've been known to do a quick hack job and. He'll move, Dexter will move on me because I trim him by myself and uh, I went zoop. But like us, all their hair grows back. I'm not one to worry. We don't put your face in there. Personally, I'm not one to worry too much about it. I do remember I trimmed his ears, the length. So Dexter's ears normally would be like, they're like 10 inches. Um, and, I, and I do give them little cuts. And uh, I had it really uneven, and I was doing a photo shoot with him, and I could totally tell. And 
Of course, I rushed him over to Sherry's, my stepsister, and she evened him out for us. Alright. So again, I'm just kind of going in here, and he's like, okay, you're talking and no treats. You bet, Amy. Um, normally, I give him more treats throughout it. I just want to clean up the bottoms to make sure he doesn't slip. Make sure that I'm removing some big pieces so that tomorrow when we do the Dremel, the Dremel doesn't grab any hair and it's one less thing that I have to worry about. Again, the Dremeling is new for me. So, you know, a little more like, eek, what am I doing? And so I don't want all this fur in my way too. And let's go back. Cause I'm gabbing and missing what I'm doing. When I, when I go in there, when I go in between his pads to, to kind of dig in there, I don't dig real deep, just enough to kind of scoop a little bit. And I kind of zip around the toes, the toenails, again, just to kind of remove some of that excess. And just whatever I kind of see around there. All right. So, boop. He's like, all right, I need the treat. He's going to rush over here because he wants the treats. So that was it, and and then as you see, <laughs> so Dexter's like, can I eat it? And then after we're done, I have to throw the treats out so that Dexter goes out into the other room, and then I sweep up the mess because Dexter's not afraid of the vacuum cleaner, and so he'll be over here snooping around trying to think I, I lost some more tr uh, treats and stuff. So that was um, me just doing a quick little trim on Dexter's toes so he can be ready for tomorrow's Dremel. And thanks again. And oh, Dexter's gonna knock over the camera. <laughs> Dexter's ah, there goes the camera. <laughs> so we will see you later. And again, put some comments there and I'll come back and read them. Dexter!